Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I am going to explain you about a small pond library which was developed by DeepSea company and I am 100% sure that you guys know about DeepSea. Okay, so uh, first of all, you know, uh, I mean, it's very, I mean, a small pond is a, a library for our data processing and it is built on top of DuckDB and what I know as of today DuckDB uh, runs only a single on a single machine but with the collaboration or with the enhancement with the deep seek what they have done is uh, now it can run on it can run on a multiple machine also like you know a distributed manner i am not 100 percent sure you guys can check into google what i know i just told you right so we'll see here you know how we can how we can actually process the parquet files or you know csv files and so so things you know so it's a very uh, very simple thing i'm also doing it first time so let me write a code pip install a small pond so since it is uh, i mean it's a, it's a python package so we can leverage this in a python mm -hmm. environment right so pip install a small pond uh, with this it will you know actually run the or install the library uh, correct now uh, you know once it is done what i can do i can uh, you know i can uh, I can in initialize a session okay so if you know that if you're coming from a spark uh, a spark thing then we have to is initialize the spark session also right like here also we have to initialize the session a small pond session correct so with that what i have to do i have to first install it i have to import it sorry and once it is done i have to initialize the uh, thing right so np dot sorry what i am doing here a small pond a small pond dot in it okay and let me run it okay very good now what i did i have actually copy i mean i have a simple uh, parquet file so what i'll do i will put it over here or uh, let me cancel it let me put it in the sample data itself now we have prices uh, parquet so what i'll do i'll just copy it and if you want to you know list uh, will it work sample underscore data i'm not sure whether this command will work or not what if if i run this hmm. you can see we have uh, like uh, this dot json file california housing training and um, uh, you know uh, all all these files we have it now what if if i just write this will it uh, give me so you can see data lab all these things we can see over here right uh, it doesn't make sense let's me let me remove it we we were not talking or, or about this right now we have to actually read the uh, file right so uh, what i'll do i will write a df is equal to sp sp is what a uh, session sp dot or we can say object sp dot read now you can see it supports three things three files for now csv json parquet so i can go with the parquet put this correct now if i run this we'll see what's gonna happen very good now if you want to see what if if i do df something like this it's not running it's not coming i have to convert into pandas will it come now now you can see it is printing me the output now what if if i do here display of df why it is not coming it is coming as none and if i remove the print and you will see still it is printing a object right so if i do now to pandas it is returning me a data frame in a in a, in a like a, in a tabular format like how display works right very good correct now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write this df dot uh, we have these functions you know you can use it random shuffle recompute repartition take to all these function we have it we have flat map filter 
what if if i want to filter the data now you see sql of function union collaborable all these things are written but let let it you know uh, let's keep it very simple for now so i am gonna do a repartition okay repartition how many partition i want i want let's say four partitions one see uh, how many distinct value we have in ticker we have like one two three three uh, so i am saying here three and i am saying hash by means in hash by i have to pass the column name so i am saying hey pass the column name ticker okay now if i run this and now if i go and run this df dot right parquet and i am saying hey give me give me all these things into a output folder so will it run or will it fail you can see it returns a out it creates a output folder and now it has like three three uh, uh, files over here right now if i go here and if i try to read a single uh, file right what will happen it will give me only that particular data see let me just uh, copy this and let me again copy this code and again cut and paste it over here and if i run this and do display of d uh, sorry df dot to pandas it will return me the output of goo gook okay so like this way we can actually have or actually uh, you know save the data right i mean see there are a lot of enhancement they, these guys are going to do it so uh, since I, I i just want to tell you guys that hey this is also a one of the uh, library which you can explore right so apart from this uh, as you guys know me that i i mean if you following me the uh, following me in the youtube then i i told you that i am working on a, a databricks gen ai project and till now you know 19 people have taken this course and uh, here you know i have completed close to 6 hours of content some uh, some time is not uh, some time is not uh, you know coming over here right so uh, in this project you will be creating a gen ai uh, chatbot using a hugging face as well as a foundation models of databricks and using vector search index and so if you want to take it you guys can go and take and start building and understanding how you know what is vector search what is embedding how to how to use these things i mean this is very simple thing to be honest right i also learned uh, like i mean i i i've been working uh, in this gen ai space for 6 months and i understood little bit for now but you know you guys can also learn it very easily so that's why i i i thought that hey let's go and build the project so you can watch these two videos if you want to understand about the data about the problem statement and the architecture and if you feel good then you can take it okay Okay chalo thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture